This video is sponsored by Curiosity Stream and Nebula in support of Team Seas. More on that on a beach at the end. From the jump, put me in a good mood. Un bacho a mezzanote is a stone cold jam. Definitely Luca style opening credits. Tommaso. You're fine. Non preoccuparti, Giacomo. I always enjoy when movies don't translate some foreign language phrases since you can kind of pull context from tone. This first one is dismissive. Non preoccuparti, Giacomo. Which means don't worry. And this is an exclamation. Oh, per mille sardine. And literally translates to 4,000 sardines. Ah, that's more like it. Bumpin' Puccini on vinyl in the fishing boat? They are my kind of pescatori. And yeah, I'm just gonna apologize for all my Italian pronunciations because I'm gonna try and they're gonna be terrible, but I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> what is that? Love the monster look of Alberto before we truly meet him and very typical that humans mistake Alberto's panic for aggression. Before the titles, Pixar reminds us that everything they do is beautiful and we're gonna love every minute of this. <laughs> of course the goatfish bleats. Giuseppe. Also, Giuseppe is adorable and going places. Good morning, Mr. Branzino. Hi, Mr. Ghostbound. Hey, Luca. So we got Mr. Branzino, a guy I only recognize as an appropriately named fish because of Flash Thompson and Spider-Man, and Mrs. Aragosta, which means lobster in Italian, and she's red, so... Look, I, I think it's mostly the accordion, but I can't be the first one to get OG Final Fantasy VII feels from this score, right? Like the main theme once you get into the world map? Very similar melody that gives me anxiety waiting for a random encounter. On-demand mirrors? Great intuition on just how evil an invention the alarm clock truly is. Land monsters! Genuinely love that the sea monsters call humans land monsters. They've put exactly as much time into it as we have. And yeah, I'm gonna keep calling them sea monsters. That's what Disney's website itself calls them. So while it does seem to be a negative term later in the movie, we're just, we're just gonna roll with it. This theme hit me in the feels and we're only six minutes in. You think they come around to meet new friends, huh? No. Make small talk. I, I, I don't. No, they're here to do murders. Uh -huh. Maya Rudolph is really killing the voice actor mom game in 2021. I have made the metal ones pay for their crimes. We're a little worried about him, right? No thanks, I I'm full. <laughs> Jim Gaffigan. The oblivious dad to end all oblivious dads. Here, hold this. <sighs> Every neighborhood has that one cool kid. Sure. And Luca is such a polite little gentleman. First time? <laughs> of course it is! I'm a good kid! See, even Luca knows it. I'm sure that being a sea monster who's never been on land, it'd be pretty incredible to see land anywhere, but Luca is pretty lucky he's grown up by the Italian Riviera and not like Florida. No offense, Florida, but you get it. Hey, we're a whole 11 minutes into this movie, so let's talk about some insane details. Like how angry these little guys look to have been in there. Or how about the red light from the boat reflecting off Alberto's wet dorsal fin? The ocean foam that Luca creates when he rolls into the water? Or just the gorgeous design of the sea monsters? They look gross, but somehow still sympathetic. Good, good day. Again. See? So polite. This movie is officially adorable. Hey, <laughs> Pixar makes pretty movies. Yeah, we get it, dude. The realistic air bubbles and light dancing off the rocks are both really gorgeous. Shh. Love the transformation here. I like that they established quickly that the sea monster's hair doesn't need to dry, it's just part of the transformation. Step without even thinking about it. No, 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 no. Don't think about it. I don't know how to not think about something. Uh, Most relatable moment of this film. Point your feet to where you want to go, okay? And then you just catch yourself before you fall. The fact that that is exactly how I walk sort of blew my mind. Every step is just a potential face plant. Wait, you, you, all, you all feel that way, right? Alberto Scorfano. Luca Panguro. Piacere. Trollamo trombetta. What does it mean? The, the thing you just said? Come on! Apparently it means roughly, nice to meet you, my name is Twisty Trombone, which is something director Enrico Casarosa said kids in his town growing up said. You can even see them doing a trumpet thing with a handshake. It's not an exact translation as it's actually kind of a pun and the reality is you, you don't care. Wait, don't care? Who wrote that? Of course they care! You live up here? Yeah, me and my dad. He's not even here a whole lot, so I pretty much just do whatever I want. There it is. Pixar loves to leave a breadcrumb trail right to me sobbing on the couch in 90 minutes. The sun. Whoa, don't look at it. Just kidding. Definitely look at it. Alberto being positively presidential. Whoa, he's got gadgets and gizmos as well as who's it's and what's it's. Only counting about 19 thingamabobs though. It's broken, unfortunately. Whoa, you, you unbroke it. First hint that Luca might be wicked smart. 
Look, I, I know it's just marketing, we're destroying everything, and Team C's and pollution and all that, but this is still how I feel about Vespas. I don't know why. Are you gonna make one? I think you have all the parts. Wicked smart. I have to go, like, now. Like, right now. Okay, see ya. Doing the SpongeBob thing in a movie about ocean creatures. Well played. I'm not gonna talk about the technical stuff all day, but look at how they captured the glistening water and the glow around the boys' skin, making it hard to look at them just like in real life. I feel like it's a rite of passage for parents to find alarming things in their kids' rooms. For my parents, it was a Jagged Little Pill CD and a copy of The 400 Blows, you know, because they were impressed by my interest in French New Wave. Boy. Friendship! Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! Can you still hear him? Nope! Just you! Good! So there's really no reason for saying Bruno. One of the writers came up with this mantra and everyone loved it. And I can see why, unless your name is Bruno. Sorry, Brunos, but hey, at least your name isn't Karen. It's been a rough couple of years for Karens. Don't listen to stupid Bruno. Why is his name Bruno? I don't care, it doesn't matter. Alberto seems a little young for divorce Italian style, but it was before the MPAA, and I guess kids do grow up fast. Ah! Hugging! Ah! And saving a new buddy. Your dad sounds so cool. You're lucky he lets you do what you want. Yeah, for sure. I will hold it together. I will ignore Alberto's pretty dang good trauma deflection. Whoa! Wild Vespas! <laughs> Makes sense that a sea monster kid who knows nothing about the land monster world might actually think there could be wild Vespas. Also, his interpretation of clouds and the anchovy stars is impeccable. Whoa! The needle drop choices throughout this film are flawless, but this score is just so good. Dan Romer really knocks it out of the park. It's epic and huge, it's subtle and small, it feels old world Italian, it's perfect for this film. Pixar's artists nailing the abject fear when you've been busted by the parents. You, the mouth open, the whale carcass go in. Yes, yeah, good, I recommend it. It's fun to be alive at a time when movies aren't afraid to just be weird. Hey, look me in the eye. You know I love you, right? Well, good thing that line won't come back later in the movie in a way that will make me sob on the couch. <sighs> A real Vespa. Hey, Pixar makes impressive movies. Yeah, we get it, dude. The way Luca's pupils dilate when he says Vespa like they do when someone is in love. Sheesh. Track down Senor Vespa. Do you really think there's a Senor Vespa? Makes sense, right? Yes, continue. Aw, believe in your friends even when they have no idea what they're talking about. Silencio Bruno. Yeah, remember last week? It doesn't apply to just art. Silencio Bruno is about all your fears of the unknown. Well, let's make it an even 55 before the 30 minute mark in this movie, shall we? Love the transformation to human form on the other side of the fisherman's head as if they needed a spot for a hidden cut. Oh, a bunch more untranslated Italian. The one I like the most is, which means it smells bad and she's talking about the exhaust. Anna, who wants to watch me eat a big sandwich? Such a fun way to let us know this guy is not only the antagonist, but also a complete idiot. Ha, recruit that boy for Juventus. Or Torino, if you're a Juventus fan, you pick. I love your stylish clothes. What did you get them? A dead body? <laughs> huh, Patton considered it. Yeah, probably. Or a little sweatier than average. Uh, too much? Too much. Self-awareness. Hey, uh, it's Julia. Julia. My name is Julia. Why is it that Julia's and Julia's always get the bad nicknames? My wife, Julia, was called Julia Gulia pretty much all through middle school and high school because Drew Barrymore almost didn't marry the wedding singer. So no one's taking him down unless it's me. Or hugging. It's an epic, grueling, traditional Italian triathlon. Swimming, cycling, and eating pasta. Pixar, if you're going to have exposition, you might as well bring the jokes. Can you withstand <laughs> passive-aggressive verbal assault? Looks like I'm sitting out of this year's Poteroso Cup because no, no, I cannot. My family was going to send me somewhere horrible, away from everything I love. But if we win this race, we can be free. My life's great. I'm just helping him out. Haha, <laughs> denial. Wait, wait, is denial a win? What's that? I'm never wrong and all my wins make sense? Nice, denial. Look at that bellissimo mustache, or bay baffi, as they say. But you know, without butchered pronunciation. What's wrong with you, stupid? <laughs> it's such perfect Alberto that he still hasn't picked up on the fact that it's an insult. Okay, so this is just something interesting I'm noticing. I really liked that the opening credits had some Italian mixed in for an authentic feel, but then I realized I was watching the Italian language version and there is an English version. But then I realized that the version on Disney Plus is the Italian version and I'm confused. Anyway, there are just subtle differences here and there that don't really change the movie at all. Maybe my Italian fans can explain why some of the differences are what they are. <laughs> <gasps> ah! 
<laughs> animation itself is difficult, but pulling off slapstick comedic timing and animation? Mwah. Where did you boys say you were from? Bold move to wait 38 minutes to introduce the best character in the entire movie. A distrustful and aggressive cat? This is the most realistic thing Pixar has ever done, including his Bay Buffy. I don't want you doing the race again. You get so upset. Love that the seemingly hard-boiled dad's first concern is for his daughter's feelings. You know fish. Oh, we? We know lots of fish. Ha! Double entendre. Might be because we're over a haunted fish graveyard. We know it's not haunted. The fish think it's haunted. <laughs> Clarification. Ah, sharks. Sea monster swearing is definitely more fun than land monster swearing. You look like a a, a, a catfish. A catfish. <laughs> uh, they're bottom feeders, and they also have two sad little whiskers. <gasps> Dang! Fish burn. Luke is going for the throat. Also, his shyness and sincerity somehow make it sting more. I eat kids like you for breakfast. You eat pieces of. Sh you have to be ready for anything. Could be cannelloni, penne, fusilli, truffia, even lasagne. And no jokes just for the joke's sake. The reason pasta eating is a component of the race is because it's sponsored by a pasta company. Holy car. No, I can't. Or sea monster swearing. I'm gonna have to try this out. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> because the stars are anchovies. Tight callback. Is his boat named Fakasha? <laughs> like the bread? Eh, it checks out. Eat a big sandwich. Kick it. Luca's mom bringing some real Marco Mezzarazzi energy to her game. Could use a Zidane to stop her. <laughs> Dolphin header. Love the no football sign in the background, yet these kids are still out here doing it after all. Rules are for rule people. We'll sleep under the fish. The fish. <laughs> Good. I love that she's just accepted they're weird. During school, I live with my mom, my and Janet's mom. I appreciate a kid's movie that doesn't shame separated parents and has no agenda, saying, eh, maybe the parents will get back together. Because that ain't everyone's reality, and sometimes it's the better outcome for everyone, including the kids. That's why we gotta win. The town will cheer our names, and Glenn's life will be ruined. Shodan fraud. Is, is that a win? What's that? It's a win when the bad guy's a bully. Nice. Thanks, Imaginary Arbiter. Getting meta in here. The song that played during the friendship montage while Alberto and Luca were trying out their homemade Vespa and their dancing skills is called Il Gatto e le Volpe, which is a classic Italian pop song about the cat and fox and Pinocchio. You can have it. Generosity. Little details like Machiavelli pushing the cup off the counter in the background are why Pixar will always have a place in my heart. And a training in fishing and looking for your son montage is the fastest way to learn the very accurate effects of espresso. <laughs> of course, a Borat fish would be a movie star, but some tight sea-related movie posters. Also, just great posters in general. Roman Holiday, La Strada. Mm -hmm. Gotta love some surrogate father-son bonding. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> sort of like that there's a love triangle in this movie, but it's not the two boys fighting over Julia. It's Alberto being possessive of his new best friend because it's safe to assume he has some abandonment issues. You don't know what you're talking about. Look, this town is making you crazy. This fight puts me on edge because I hate conflict and when friends fight, but at least they can do it at the golden hour. Grumpy hugging. Oof, that is Alberto's handshake. Read the room, Luca. Don't hurt us! See? I knew this was a monster! Was not expecting this betrayal. At least not this severe. One thing I think this whole scene does really well is convey how despite being young and innocent, kids can really hurt each other. And I mean cut deep. They're trying to figure out how to be people, and the reality is people can be pretty awful. Alberto shouldn't have put him in this situation, but obviously Luca shouldn't have risked his best friend's life. But man, Alberto really pulls off the scary sea monster aesthetic. And the change in weather adding the waves flips the feeling the ocean had previously. It's as if we're seeing it from the human's perspective and the sea is something to be feared again. Looks impenetrable. I don't think he wants anyone looking for him. And maybe not. Not just in case. Aw man, Massimo misses his little buddy. <laughs> under the fish, now I get it. Love that Julia isn't scared, she's more frustrated at the situation. Oh no, the gadgets, the gizmos, the who's it's and what's it's, not to mention I only count seven thingamabobs. Oof. What are those marks on the wall? I started when my dad left. You were living here alone for that many days? I just stopped counting after a while. I knew it was coming and it's still an absolute gut punch. He said I was old enough to be on my own. And if you feel like counting, it's over a year's worth of days. You're the good kid, and I'm just the kid that Ruins everything. Silenzio Bruno. This scene? Can I make this whole scene a win? I mean, I'm gonna, because it's just so well done. Voice acting is always good for Pixar, but Jacob Tremblay and especially Jack Dylan Grazer are crushing it here. Just a dumb voice in your head. You taught me that. Seeing the world- Just let it go. Again, maybe I'm just super intuitive, but Mostro Marino, sea monster, Vivo a Morto, alive or dead, Recompensa, reward. Do I speak Italian now? I knew eight years of French would pay off. Supportive parenting. 
Look, we all know Luca isn't gonna bail on the race, and it's a kid's movie, so obviously we're not gonna see Luca get harpooned, but what Luca is doing here is way beyond brave, inching into dangerously stupid territory. So props for being a brave kid. I'ma say it, badass good guy. Ah, and I guess I'm just thick because it finally makes sense why Julia would puke. I would also puke. The only man who can carbo load like this is Michael Scott. Yeah, but no, Jay, that's not allowed. <laughs> this kid gets it. I don't care if it's Scopa, Bachi, or Serie A. Cheating is stupid and ruins it for everyone. In other words, What's wrong with you? Done. Solid self high five. Luxo ball on the roof. Ooh. His amazement in himself makes me laugh every time. Just stay right there. Alberto. I'm coming for you! More friendship! You two don't belong here! Get out of my town! <laughs> the writers do a great job of making Ercole a real son of a perch. Eh? Pretty good, right? <laughs> Even more friendship! <laughs> hey there! Jesus! Cool headedness. Pizza Planet truck? More of a Pizza Planet Vespa or a Pizza Planet Piaggio Ape. Look, Ercole is awful, but that's a sick move. We're not afraid of you! No, but we're afraid of you! Everyone is horrified because you are monsters! Stop. Did you catch it? The, like, whole message there? The way he angrily says, we're afraid of you, without any twinge of fear in his voice? Bigots do a whole lot in the name of fear. I don't think I've ever seen a more honest visual representation of that. I know who they are. They are Luca and Alberto. They are... The winners! Massimo, you old softy. Again, love that the beast of a man is the most tender-hearted and empathetic. No, sir. Close up it. And what are you gonna do? Argue with that babe Buffy? Um, yeah. Didn't think so. Ah, uh, come up and. And I'm so proud of you, and I am so mad at you. Yep, that pretty much sums up parenthood. Historians were perplexed by their close relationship, neither married but lived together for 60 years solely for companionship. Get it together, Disney. Ciao, ragazzi. A presto. Reconciliation. A113. Look me in the eye. You know I love you. Right? <laughs> I know. Shoot! You went and did it. Don't cry, don't cry. But you're never without me. He fixed it. Oh boy. Mugging. You got me off the island, Luca. I'm okay. Well, that line might have done it. <laughs> Geronimo. Trombetta. Seriously? What does that mean? No idea. Go find out for me, will ya? Hey. Pixar makes touching movies. Yeah, we get it, dude. A moment of honesty between these two that speaks to their entire relationship? Sheesh. Go, Luca! How are you gonna play me like this with the score swelling and a BFF cheering on a BFF for something he doesn't understand but fully supports? <laughs> you follow your dreams. Fine. I think it's more than fo oh right, Italian. Well, that was an emotional roller coaster. I love credits that let us know how everyone is doing, and they all seem to be doing great, which is good because if they weren't, I'm honestly not sure I could take it. Another fun spin on something so absolutely terrible. Anyway, you're gonna have fun. You get to hear me talk and you get to listen, so you're lucky. Well done. Told you Giuseppe was going places. Hi, I'm Lee Cinema Wins. You might know me from such things as Cinema Wins, the YouTube channel. Or maybe you just watched a video about Luca, where a boy lives in the ocean and also on the beach sometimes. But today, I want to talk to you about something that's near and dear to my heart. Trash. That's right. I love trash, and I've been told that there's quite a bit of trash out in the ocean, and also some on the beach. And I think that you could help me get some of that trash. For me. Because again, I love trash. You might see other videos today from TMC's people claiming that they want to remove 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean, but that's a secondary goal. The primary goal is for me to get the trash, because the marine life has really been holding on to the trash for far too long, and it's high time- Okay, okay, maybe that joke got a little macabre. Uh, the marine life absolutely does not want uh, trash. That's kind of the whole point of what we're doing here. This is Team Seas. Uh, if you've heard of Team Trees, a few years ago, Mr. Beast and Mark Rober raised $20 million to plant 20 million trees, and this time they're raising $30 million to remove 30 million pounds of trash from the oceans, the rivers, and the beaches. So essentially every dollar that you donate will be one pound of trash that's removed from the uh, from the oceans and rivers and beaches. And they partnered with the Ocean Conservancy, who is gonna be responsible for moving the trash from the oceans and the beaches, and the Ocean Cleanup, which will be doing the rivers. It's a great cause. Uh, I think we can kind of all agree that trash doesn't belong in the ocean, more in the beaches, or in the rivers. Um, whoop, 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 whoop. It got me, it got me, it got me. Worth it, it's worth it for Team C's. 
So you can click the link in my description or uh, go to teamseas.org and donate. Uh, trying to do it by the end of the year. So got a little bit of time, but you should, you should do it. You should do it now. Okay, thanks. Bye. Another gorgeous Pixar movie and one that people took many different things from. Luca can be about growing up, finding your passion, about being an outcast, code switching, or it can be about LGBTQ plus youth trying to find their place in society. One of my personal favorite things about Luca is how simple and small the story is, which is an odd compliment for an ocean movie, but it's such a personal and relatable story. I know a lot of people felt the call me by your name thing happening, but ultimately the director and writer said that their intention was for this to be less of a coming of age story and more a prepubescent friendship story. But the great thing about art is that it can be whatever you want it to be. And there are some obvious parallels in the way Alberto and Luca are treated by the townspeople through no fault of their own and due to their own immutable characteristics. You could even look at Alberto's father leaving and disowning him as part of that interpretation, especially if you keep in mind the story takes place in the 1960s. So even if it's not a romantic love story, the allegory is there. It's a little muddy for me because sea monsters are objectively different than humans, even if the reasons that people hate them are based on lies and rumors, while LGBTQ plus people are just normal humans. They aren't different from anyone else, they are just treated differently. But I think I'm, I'm probably being nitpicky, so it's still great. There are quite a few strong themes in this movie, one that comes up in Pixar a lot, freedom. The Vespa means freedom for both Alberto and Luca in different ways, and yet they both find more freedom when they move past the idea that the only way out is through a Vespa. I think my favorite theme is about shutting down that Bruno voice in your head. I'll admit that Alberto's version of it isn't always the most advisable. Bruno shouldn't be your self-preservation instincts, but in a movie with invincible cartoon sea monsters, I get the idea. You should, however, say Silencio Bruno to a whole bunch of stuff, like imposter syndrome, fear of change, fear of failure, fear of not being accepted, you fill in the blank, you know the things holding you back. It's a good mantra and a great message. The cast is fantastic, the visuals are fantastic, and even if it's not the most groundbreaking Pixar movie, I really enjoyed it. But the main thing Luca does is have an ocean in it, which is why I chose it for Team Seas. I actually had another movie in mind initially, and I'm gonna do that one next week, because why not? But I knew this one would reach more people. And thanks to Curiosity Stream for sponsoring this video in Team Seas. So again, go to teamseas.org and donate, and I uh, really appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks. It's cold. It's freezing. It's really cold. It's terrible. I don't recommend going to the ocean in New England. Okay, bye.